What's up everybody, Shadow from All Come On Gaming. Gonna have you a quick tutorial today with the how to load Forge into the new Minecraft 1.6.2 launcher and also how to load a mod into it. So first thing you need to do is you need to get the Minecraft.exe file off of Minecraft.net and I actually have mine stored somewhere else so I use a shortcut to it. Once you run it, it's going to bring up this launcher and it's going to take a couple of seconds to initialize and then once that happens you're just going to hit play because you're going to want Minecraft to play for at least one full load up before you load up Forge. So you just click play, let it load and as soon as this comes up you can just close that back out. Don't need it no more and go ahead and close the launcher as well. Next thing you're going to need is this file right here. This is the new Minecraft Forge for 1.6.2. This is the installer and it's just a jar file and I'll have a link to it in the description at the bottom of the video and you're just going to click it it's going to bring up this little installer window window you got three choices here you got install client install server or extract just if you're just installing into a single player game just leave it right where it's at and just hit OK and it's going to say successfully installed you're just going to hit OK on that again and now you're going to go ahead and run Minecraft again because now Forge needs to run because you're going to have, once the launcher fully loads, a new profile. And it should pop up in a second. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, so you got a new uh, Forge profile. So you're going to select the Forge profile and you're going to log into it just like you normally would. And just hit OK, and that's going to create. That's going to get Forge's files and everything all set and all the folders it needs to make. And it's going to take a few seconds for it to load up. But once it's done, same thing. You're just going to close the window back down again. There we go. Except this time, you're going to notice down here in the corner, it does says it does say Forge, and it says three mods loaded. Those those are the mods for Forge itself. So you're just going to close that. And now you're going to close that as well. And I just make a, a shortcut to my app data folder. I think it's just the easiest way to uh, do it. You're going to go to that. You're going to go to Minecraft. And then you're going to go down to the mods folder that Forge uh, created. And in this case, we're going to be putting in the Too Many Items mod. Now one cool thing about this mod is before you had to actually <coughs> excuse me you had to actually install the mod directly into the jar they've made this one where it's completely drag and drop you just take it move it in there and it's in there it's in the mods folder and you just restart minecraft and when it comes up again you're going to want to be on the on the forge profile and it's going to come up here in just a second it's running so slow today let's see there we go. Just hit play. There we go. Bring that up. And now you can see where it says four mods installed. Set your mod folder. Confirm it. Too, my, too many items is installed. Hit done. Single player. That's fine. Let's create a new world. I'll show you that it's in there and it's working. There we go. And I'm on top of a tree. Well, you just hit your E. And too many items is going to uh, be popping up here. And if you always, with too many items, if you want it to go away, you just hit O. And it's gone. Alright. Well, that's my little uh, tutorial for today. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you later.